and today I'm going to show you a day in the life as an English teacher in Playas de Coco, Costa Rica. Are you ready? A little bit about me. I am 21 years old. I grew up in Southern California in the United States and I attended Southern Oregon University. I graduated in June and I moved to Playas de Coco in January. I work two jobs here in Playa de Coco. I work at a brick and mortar school and I also work online through VIP Kid. Today I'm going to talk to you about both of my jobs teaching English. The school that I work at here in Playa de Coco is called Dolphins Academy School. It's a school for first graders through 11th graders. The education is in half Spanish and half English, so it's a private bilingual school for children. Dolphins Academy School is an international school. Right now we have teachers from the United States, from Spain, from Denmark, and from the Ukraine. And also we have students from all over the world, from Costa Rica, from Colombia, from Spain, many other countries. At Dolphins Academy School, I teach three grades. I teach first graders and second graders geography, English, and mathematics. And I teach intermediate English to the high schoolers. Class sizes here are really small. There's about 200 students that attend Dolphins Academy. So in my first grade class, there's 10 students. There's also 10 students in my second grade class. And there are five students in my intermediate class. For the first six weeks that I lived here, I lived with a homestay family. It was a family of students from my school, and yesterday I just moved out into my own apartment. The homestay option was a great way to learn the language and to get used to living in Costa Rica. I'm currently on my walk to school right now. I live about a 40 minute walk away from the school and I just actually moved into my apartment yesterday. Prior to that, I was staying at a homestay with two girls from my school. My plan is to just walk downtown and then I'll pick up a taxi from there. But sometime this week, I'll get a motorbike then I can get to school in about five minutes. I just got to work uh, by taxi. It was about a minute, which was awesome. And here is my school. I got here a little early, no one's here yet, but it's a lovely school and I'll give you a tour. So this is the hallway, and then this is my classroom. This is my first grade classroom, so it's where I do homeroom, teach geography, English, and math, and also where I do all my prep work. This school is my first teaching job, so I was really, really excited to decorate the classroom, to make it look really nice and cute, and to uh, stimulate the kids' minds with colors and posters and everything like that. It's lunchtime, so I'm about to go outside and eat with the kids. I eat with the kids every day, and I eat with the first, second, and third graders during my lunch period. Lunchtime with the kids is actually my favorite time of the day because it allows me to practice my Spanish and it allows me to get to know my kids on a deeper level. School is finished for the day and I'm just doing some final prep work and then I'm going to give you a small tour around iSchool and then I'm headed to the beach. The playground at the school. I'm currently standing on the soccer field which is the kids' favorite activity to play. And then right over here you can see the lunchroom and the high school part of the school. This is the elementary school side of the school and over here in the distance is our whole recycling complex which is super awesome and a great addition to the school. I just got off work, got home, and now I'm walking to the beach. I live a four minute walk away from the beach which is really nice because I'm right on time for sunset. I took the International TEFL Academy course online. I really like this option because I could do it at my own pace and I was able to finish in about two months. I chose to get certified through International TEFL Academy because their amazing job search help and their help actually landed me the job that I have now in Dolphins Academy. They have a huge PDF full of all the schools in the countries that you're interested in and so I looked at all the schools in Costa Rica, applied to the ones I liked, and I got hired at Dolphins. I decided to move to Costa Rica because I really wanted to learn Spanish. I'd been here before and I loved the people here and the natural landscape is just so beautiful. My biggest piece of advice to someone who wants to be an English teacher is to go for it. Go for it and experience what it's like to teach and live in a different country. It's a truly amazing experience and I'm glad I did it. All the work that you put into your job search, that you put into saving, and planning for the trip is totally worth it for views like this 
and to be able to experience and live in a different country. One other thing I love about ITA is the Facebook groups. They have a Facebook group for almost every country you can teach in and also one online, which was really helpful in deciding to come to Costa Rica and deciding to work with VIP Kid. The most common way to find a job in Costa Rica is on the ground. However, I was able to secure a job online and I arrived here one day before I started work. I have two favorite words that I've learned so far in Spanish. The first one is barrio, and that means neighborhood, and the second one is enseñar, and that means to teach. Sunset time is almost over, and I'll send you guys a pic of the beautiful sunset that we had today. And then I'm going to go back to my apartment and talk all about teaching with VIP Kid and how I teach with VIP Kid as a digital nomad. So I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about VIP Kid. VIP Kid is an online platform that offers English classes to children ages 4 through 12 in China. The requirements to get hired through VIP Kid are to have a bachelor's degree in any subject, to be a Canadian or US citizen, and to have experience working with kids as a teacher, a mentor, or a coach. I usually work a couple hours a week through VIP Kid. This gives me the opportunity to be able to have enough money to go and travel throughout Costa Rica and Central America. The scheduling with VIP Kid is really great. You get to open and close time slots whenever you'd like, unless a student has already booked you for that class. You can work one hour a week or you can work 15 to 20 hours a week. It's really up to you and your schedule and bookings. I am a coach through VIP Kid, and so I coach applicants through the entire interview process. I provide information on how to get hired and my own tips for TPR, prop usage, reward usage, etc.